Hello dear students, in trick number 265, I am going to take up a very basic problem of time and work. So many of you requested me to put up a series of this very important topic. So I am coming up with some videos on time and work. Now for this problem, very very basic problem of time and work, I will be telling you two methods and in the subsequent videos, in some complex questions, we will be making use of either of the two methods whichever you feel comfortable and in which you consume less time to solve the question so here is the question there is a person a who works alone to complete a work in four days there is a person b who works alone to complete the same work in five days now they work together we need to find out in how many days will they complete the work now my aim here is not to uh, solve this question but to tell you the two methods which are used to solve these questions so if you have efficiency in gaining these two concepts then very easily you will be able to solve the complex problems relating to time and work now see the first method is called reciprocal method now in the reciprocal method the total number of days taken by a is reciprocal taken the reciprocal of this number 1 by 4 and I have taken the reciprocal of 5 also 1 by 5 and since they work together then we add the 2 so if you add the 2 you will get the LCM 20 and this will be 5 plus 4 so 9 upon 20 so number of days taken by A and B together just take the reciprocal of this 20 upon 9 or you can convert it into mixed fraction this will be 9 to the 18 remainder 2 and divisor 9 so these many days is the answer now this is the first method wherein you have to take the sum of two fractions and then whatever answer you obtain you have to again take the reciprocal of that and convert it into a mixed fraction to obtain the final answer now what about the efficiency method now see in case of a the number of days taken by a is 4 so we calculate the efficiency of a and for calculating the efficiency of a we divide 100 remember always 100 by the number of days which is 25 percent now this is the efficiency of a. Similarly, we calculate the efficiency of B. Again, divide 100 by the number of days taken by B. This is 5. So, this is 20%. Now, see, total efficiency of A plus B because they now they have to work together. So, total efficiency of A and B, just add the two efficiencies, 25% plus 20% which will give you 45%. So 45% efficiency, now number of days is very easy, just divide 100 again by the total efficiency 45 which can be cancelled by 5 to obtain 20 by 9 which is the same answer here we obtained through the first method 20 by 9 or 2, 2 by 9 days. Now personally speaking I prefer this efficiency method because it does not involve addition of fractions and here I have taken very simple numbers 4 and 5 so the addition of fraction was easier but whenever the number of days is itself in a rational form or in decimals then this calculation becomes a little bit time consuming so I always prefer this efficiency method. A 100 upon number of days B 100 upon number of days so the total efficiency if they work together just add the two efficiencies and 100 divided by that total percentage efficiency will give you the total number of days consumed by A and B together the problem goes like this there are three persons X Y and Z when X and Y pair up to complete the work they complete it in 10 days when Y and Z pair up they complete it in 12 and half days and when all three of them work together they complete the work in four days now I need to find out the third pair that is X and Z how, how much time how many days will X and Z 
take to complete the work so see two pairs are already given and all three it is already given the third pair we need to find out now this is a special type of problem which you should remember in competitive exams and if you are unaware of the method then this is very difficult to solve at in the first go so how do we go about it now i am telling you the solution through the efficiency method so see here we are given that x and y see x and y 10 days so efficiency will be 100 upon 10 that is 10 percent similarly efficiency of see i am writing all the steps just to tell you the procedure but when you solve this in competitive exams you don't need all these steps you just just need the percentages efficiency of now y and z see 100 upon this is 12 and half 12.5 which is exactly 8 efficiency of x y z all three four days so 100 upon four that is 25 percent now see you need to find out the number of days taken by x and z so first of all we need to find out how many days will x alone take and how many days will z alone take now out of these three if you subtract these two see this, these are all three persons x y z and this is x and y so if you subtract only z is remaining so z only means this is 25 percent minus x and y 10 percent so 15 percent efficiency is of z only similarly when you subtract these two x y z and y z so only x remains so x only 25 minus 8 so that is 17 percent so now i have found out the efficiencies of x and z alone so x and z that means when they work together the efficiency will be their sum so this is 32 percent the sum of 15 and 17 32 percent now the next step will give you the answer therefore number of days taken by x and z is just divide just like we did here 100 divided by the combined efficiency is 32 percent so the 100 divided by 32 so you can very easily cancel this by 4 so 50 by uh, i am cancelling this by 2 first 16 now further by 2 25 by 8 so 25 by 8 will give you your answer in mixed fraction that is 3 1 by 8 days will be your final answer of this question now this question is very common in competitive exams and it goes like this there are a selected number of boys who can finish a work in a given number of days here in this case it is given 16 days and a selected number of girls here in this case 8 girls can finish the same task in 12 days now we need to find out when different number of boys and girls combine together how many how many days will they take to finish the same work so you must have seen these type of questions recurring in most of the competitive exams which involve numerical ability portions now to solve this what we do first is to calculate the number of days taken by two boys and then to calculate the number of days taken by six girls so for that we can have the unitary method see four boys so this is in case of boys and this is in case of girls i am writing all the steps on the board just to enable you to understand the steps involved in the solution of this problem but in competitive exams you can skip the uh, steps and get to the answer in a lesser amount of time now for the boys see four boys 16 days so just multiply them equal to two boys how many days say x similarly in case of girls eight girls 12 days equal to now how many girls are here six girls into y now if you want to find x here 
so 4 into 16 upon 2 so this will give you 16 cancels out 8 times 8 for the 32 days so this is the number of days taken by two boys now similar to this we can calculate y here 8 into 12 upon 6 so 6 cancels 2 times so 8 to the 16 days so now we have 32 days here and 16 days here so two boys and six girls will take now use the reciprocal method here we have 32 days so 1 by 32 and here we have 16 days so 1 by 16 very easy 16 is a factor of 32 so 32 is the LCM 1 plus 2 so this is 3 by 32 just take the reciprocal which will give you the answer therefore number of days equal to 32 by 3 which when converted into a mixed fraction will give you a quotient 10 remainder 2 and divisor 3 so 10 2 by 3 days is the correct answer for this important time and work problem now to understand this in a better way let us take one more question of this kind i have written one question for you say we have 10 boys now and they are taking 24 days to finish the work then we have 6 girls who are finishing the work in 36 days now we need to find how many days will it take for 15 boys and 18 girls to finish the work now this is another problem of the same kind now let us solve it for boys and for the girls for the boys here 10 into number of days 24 is equal to number of boys here 15 into x for the girls 6 into 36 equal to number of girls here is 18 into y so x will come out to be 10 into 24 upon 15 now this cancels out 2 times, 3 times, 3, 8 times, so 16 days. And if you calculate y here, 18 cancels 2 times, so y is 12 days. So these are the number of days taken by 15 boys and this is number of days taken by 18 girls. Now 15 boys and 18 girls together just take the reciprocals 1 by 16 plus 1 by 12 now see 16 and 12 they do have common factors so take the multiples of the larger number 16 to find the LCM 16 is not perfectly divided by 12 so 16 to the 32 32 is also not divisible by 12 16 3 is a 48 now 48 is perfectly divisible by 12 so 48 is the LCM 48 divided by 16 is 3 and 48 divided by 12 is 4 so your answer is 7 by 48 and just take the reciprocal to get the final answer answer number of days will be equal to 48 upon 7 which if you convert in mixed fraction 7 6 the 42 6 is the remainder and 7 is the divisor so 6 6 by 7 days is the final answer very important problem and very easy if you understand and do it because these kind of problems are very prevalent in exams and you cannot afford to leave them. So if you like it, share it and subscribe the channel.